should you alert the new victim that the person they're dealing with is a narcissist? My answer is no. Uh, by doing that, you're putting yourself in harm's way. And it's a bit of a moral conundrum because you obviously don't want the person to get hurt. But if you interject yourself back into the situation, you're putting yourself in the line of fire. If you get away from a narcissist, your main priority has to be your own safety. So the point is not to go backwards. Unfortunately, narcissists are way too dangerous to interject yourself back into a situation that you got out of. So uh, obviously, people would want to help someone from getting hurt, but in this case, with a person such as a narcissist and how dangerous they are, it just doesn't make sense to interject yourself back in the situation because they, you're not, that you would be making yourself a target again if you did that. You know what I mean? Because they're going to be pissed off about that. They don't want to lose another source of supply. They already lost you. And then they could potentially lose the new target if you alert them. However, even if you alert them, I don't think... It's not going to be received well anyway, so it's a lose-lose situation. You're You're going to make yourself a target the new victim isn't going to receive the information well because first off they've never seen this side of the person so they're not going to they're not going to believe you they're going to not understand what you're talking about they're going to think you're like some bitter ex-girlfriend that's just trying to you know make them split up or you know they're not going to have an understanding of the situation and they're they're not going to receive it well, I already know. Um, I even had a situation, which it wasn't a narcissist, but a guy was trying to talk to me, and he kept saying, like, he wants to marry me and all this, and I found out he has a girlfriend. And so I tried to warn the girlfriend. I'm like, you know, your dude is, like, trying to talk to me, and he keeps messaging me and this and that. And she spazzed out on me, you know, so I was trying to help her out woman to woman being like, look, this guy's a piece of trash. And this happens all the time. Then they end up blaming you like you're the bad person when you're just trying to help. Like you're trying to help them and say this guy is a dog, but they don't see it that way because they get like, hyper emotional in the instance and they're just you know pissed off and they're not really ready to receive that information and they don't know who you are they're like who's this woman like contacting me they have no clue who you are so it's a weird situation so you might as well just avoid all of that because it's not going to go well the person's probably going to get upset with you and you don't need that extra stress in your life, to be honest with you. This is going to be one of those lessons where, unfortunately, they're going to have to learn, the new target is going to have to learn the hard way like you did. It, that's just how it's going to have to be, because if you try to alert them, you're going to get grief from the person themselves, and you're going to also piss off the narcissist, and then you're going to have two people that are upset with you, and you don't... The point is, when you get away from the narcissist, the point is to just be completely liberated and free and never have to deal with them again. So if you're moving backwards, trying to alert new supply that they're going to be harmed, unfortunately, even though you might feel like you have a moral responsibility to warn the person, it's too dangerous in this case to do something like that. Like when I tried to warn this girl that her guy was, you know, talking to me and messaging me, 
She was being so condescending. I think she started swearing at me. I was like, this is nuts. I was trying to... I thought I was doing something good. And she started spazzing out on me. So it's a waste of time. It's a complete waste of time. The the person, like I said, they they do, they don't know. They don't have a clue what they're entangled with, of course, because that's the point. But... If you try to t say this person is horrible, they're evil, they're bad, they're going to they're going to snake you. They're not going to believe you because they've never seen any indication of this kind of behavior. It it was 4 years went by until this guy tried to snake me. So if I try to warn the new victim, how is she going she's not going to have she's not going to believe me. She has not seen any signs of this. Uh, this person was extremely charming, and we would be just, like, laughing. All, you know, like, all the time, just having long f conversations about everything and just laughing. And then it was like a switch just flipped, and it was like he was just a different person with the gaslight, and it was like just night and day. So no one's going to believe... Because they don't, no one understands a person like this exists. Like, you can't even comprehend it until you've experienced it. You, you would be like, no, they could never, no way, they could never do that. You wouldn't even understand it. So, it's a waste of time. I know people would like to do the right thing, and you would like to help a fellow human being, but in this case, it's not worth it. Keep yourself safe.